Hey fellow ant keepers, if you didn't know, us ant keepers in the US do not have Waitong, also known as AAC, available in our local hardware stores. Instead, we have firebrick, a type of material used in kilns. But even this can sometimes be too tough for us to carve into. This specific firebrick that I have is a softer kind known as K23 insulated firebrick. And this should be easier to carve into. This will be my first handmade nest, so I'm very excited to see how it turned out, and I hope you enjoy the video of me making it. At first glance, it sort of looks like Waitong, but it is extremely brittle. To make this nest, I will be using a ruler, a pencil, and an acrylic paint from Optics that I acquired from my local hardware store. I begin with setting my boundaries by writing two lines on the fire brick. And afterwards, I will use a hacksaw to cut it off from the main block. When I was cutting it, it was actually pretty easy to cut. And it left a pretty smooth side on both of the blocks, so I cleaned it off with an old cloth. When doing this, wear a gas mask and goggles if you want to reduce the chances of taking in particles. On to the next stage, is the designing portion. Here I wasn't sure if I wanted my nest to have stalactites, but I later scratched the idea. And just a warning if you do try riding on these, erasing doesn't do a good job and can leave a mark. After a couple of minutes, here's my final design, pretty spectacular in my opinion. Now we can get to my favorite part of making the nest, carving it out. For this method, I'm using a flat end screwdriver to mold out the tunnels. When carving it out, this will leave a huge mess behind, so be sure to do this outside. Here's a pretty rough carving of what my nest is right now, and I plan on fixing it a bit more later on. But since it was a very soft material, I wouldn't recommend to house any harvester ants or fire ants to live in here since it is possible for them to chew out their way and escape. At 
this time, you should wipe down the sides of the nest if you haven't already. This lets most of the particles from carving out the nest to come off and leave it less dusty to the touch. But be aware that this can leave colored marks if you wipe down too hard. Using a screwdriver, I made a small hole on the side. This is where I will be attaching tubing to connect a colony to move into this nest later on. With all of that done, we can move on to the final stage, which is adding the acrylic. I made sure that the acrylic was marked beforehand and cut it with a hacksaw since the cardboard cutter was too weak to cut it thoroughly. To attach the screen to the fire brick, I will be using these small magnets that I bought from the same hardware store and these are really strong and should hold the acrylic down firmly. And with all that said and done, we can remove the plastic, and place another set of magnets on top. leaving us with our first hand carved nest. Super happy with how it turned out. I'll be sure to update you guys with how a colony reacts to being in this nest and if you should buy this material as an alternative to Whitehall. I've been your host, Enderance, your fellow ant keeper, and I'll see you again soon.